gentlemen, welcome. We are back up to thigh boxing. We have five three minute rounds in the A class high 70 C two kilo weight class. This fight is sponsored by Genesis Labs. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing SKU's team Muay Thai. Please welcome Thomas Narkiskaska. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Phantom Team Dublin. Please welcome to the ring, Marius Brosta. Outstanding. Outstanding. This is something Joe Rogan spoke about, why is Muay Thai not more popular? And he reckons it's because a lot of people don't like the music and the tradition. Although a lot of purists and fans do, I love it. I, I personally love it, but here we go. Yeah. If you've not witnessed Muay Thai, it is a beautiful sport and art. Full of respect, but also evil violence. <laughs> Hellish elbows and kicks, but yeah. I like it, I like the music, I like the, the traditions, I like the things that go along with it. And, Tremendous sense of respect in there. It's a, it's a real martial arts, and um, it's something I'm a huge fan of. Trained in it for many years, of course, and I have a, a great respect for the fighters go into it. Bare shin on shin is no joke, and bare elbow to cranium is no joke either. And this is a good fight so far. Rosner is opening up a little better. He's getting his combinations off. Thomas trying to catch the kick and follow it up straight down the pipe with a right hand and Rosta working them combinations, coming in off the kicks. More uh, sort of traditional Thai style you'd say for Brosta. A little more K1 and head ducking style for uh, Marachowskis. The crowd calling out for Thomas Morcogas. Certainly the Ranger and longer fighter, but just uh, missed with the step in elbow there. Bros the fighting and scoring in that Thai, Thai style. Stiff hands and always a kick at the end or a potential for a knee if you get close. And again, Mai Tai, it scored slightly different as well, the K1. Different strike, score better. Kicks, of course, scoring hugely. Kicks and knees. Especially where you can see the reddening just around Thomas and Marcos' side, left-hand side. There, it's a big score on Mai Tai. But as well, they tend to score about over the duration of the fight. I could lose, technically, the first three rounds to you, finish stronger and almost have you out there, and I could still win the fight. Yeah, and the last round has scored higher than, uh, than the others, so it's, uh, it's a difficult scoring system to, to, to follow. I'd be lying. I'm remiss if I was to say that I understand it completely. Uh, a spinning elbow attempt by Brusda. Again, it's something that you, if you've ever been to, uh, to Thai matches or even if you've been lucky enough to go and see some in Thailand. It's a fantastic ritual and kind of, uh, there's a lot of pageantry around it, which you're hearing from the music here as well. But also, uh, there's a tendency in the first round that certainly very different from the MMA we've seen tonight, where there's a, almost a, a pacing oneself and a, a slower start to the fight than uh, you'd be used to, especially with and the pictures you you've seen here tonight in K1. You will hear as well with the music as the rounds go on, the music pace builds up that little bit more. And I'll as well, the, the, the fight speeds up more, and they start introducing more elbows, the traditional Thai <laughs> fights, this all happens in. Well, I, I'd urge anybody if they are, um, well, if they're in Dublin, go and see one of the Thai fights that happen around the, around Dublin. Coming up soon, actually, uh, King Cowley is a promoter himself, and he has the takeover coming over soon. Um, would advise you to get your tickets for it now, because the takeover sells out every time. Well, yeah, there's you plenty know. of shows, and of course, Martin Hogan down in Cork. It's, I've convinced Martin Hogan went over to Bangkok, and bottles some of that atmosphere that brings it back to the Neptune Stadium. 
plenty of Thai shows on here in Dublin and Ireland, never an excuse to miss it and as Barry said, I would encourage anyone to go watch Mai Thai. Yeah, it's a fantastic sport and it's got a it's got a lot going for it. I think that perhaps the whether you're an MMA purist or a kickboxing or striking purist, you know, you you like it and enjoy it. It's got the it's more of a game, I suppose you'd say, than you might think. You know, more of a scoring game, and it's uh, it's really nice to watch. And always a good atmosphere at the shows. And I'd say, look, if you're if you're lucky enough to holiday in Thailand sometime, make sure it's a it's an absolute must do. Is go to a Thai stadium, even even go to a local show and uh, and experience the the atmosphere there. I've been lucky enough to travel to Thailand and actually work in Thailand. Uh, oh, Carl, nice. Carl some fights in Shawang Stadium, Khao Samui. So I have tasted the culture, it's beautiful. Just, if you're wondering, hey, they're getting a lot of time here as it's a full A-class fight. There's two minutes in between rounds. Yeah, longer recovery. And... Ah, there's something about it. There's something about tight fights that just, uh, it's just a little bit different. Wow, the music, dude. the white crew before each one, which we didn't see tonight, of course, but the smell of the Thai oil, it's all, uh, it's all good. Frozen out, he's looking to work off the jab and start throwing them kicks as well. Just as Thomas Marcos is stepping in, he's throwing that leg kick on the standing leg. And Marcos is scoring nicely with the right kick in particular. The shorter man isn't as... Uh... Catching the kick and Waller Scott will be just warning, saying, don't be catching the kick. You can, you can grab, you got a strike, but you can't hold on. It's a nice, uh, fast nice hands. battle so far. Fast hands by Brozda. Again, Don is scoring with the kick, scoring with the teep, and using his uh, range a little better than he was in the first round. Oh, and that's nice. Nice eye kick, beautiful. Goes straight up to the head, and then goes and to the body, to the body as the well. That beautiful flurry and combination by Thomas. Oh, and goes again. High, high again, and he's starting to loosen up here. And he goes for the throw. Nicely done. Yeah, he's starting to, like I said, loosen up a little and find his range a bit. Uses kicks a little bit better. Rosa spins oh! the elbow, cracks up. A beautiful spinning elbow. I think that's going to be it. I think it's right to Marius the Marius Rosa, a beautiful spinning elbow, square on the face of Thomas Marcus. He's just not getting oh. up. Walter Scott waves it off. I think a it's beautiful the, finish here. I think it was right to the teeth, and it's uh, it was a nasty shot. He's gone for it a couple of times. He's had a few goes at it, Just and then finally the last one there. He takes a right pop at it, and I think it's uh, he's done some serious damage. What a setup by Rosa. He just stepped in. Beautifully timed spin and cracked the elbow. Looks either on the nose or, as Barry, you said, on the on the jawline of T-line of Thomas Gardner. There was no getting up from it. Stunning performance and finished just as Thomas was getting more and more into the fight. Yeah, he was growing into it and he's leaving the ring in some discomfort. It was a beautiful strike. It's an unfortunate way to, to see anybody walk out. Certainly a warrior of a fighter, but he's uh, definitely a bit of damage to the... I think, uh, I think for me it just landed right below the nose. We're going to be just around the teeth line. And, oh, vicious, vicious spinning elbow. Marius Bros that we were picking up Thai big time here, but we were talking about the techniques. The viciousness, the evilness, and the respect at the end. Rosa lands a highlight reel knockout, but then goes to his knees to make sure that his opponent is okay. Let's make it official and send it up to FC Terry Camden. Recall to stop the action at one minute thirty-seven of round number two, declaring your winner by TKO, Marius Rosa.